If you've ever done something out of your comfort zone long enough to the point where it changes you as a person, you'll understand this feeling. It's almost like you did something difficult for so long that everything else feels lighter and more achievable. There's a newfound gratitude for the simple things, small comforts, and time with your loved ones that you didn't used to feel as deeply. Living on our sailboat in international countries has changed us in more ways than one. We've worked our asses off to leave our home on stilts in Grenada while we temporarily couch surf in the States. New experiences and our life on the water is what we're after at this stage of our lives. But taking time to be with our loved ones is what we needed to keep our fire burning for all of this. These words would normally never come out of my mouth, but I just had the best continental breakfast of my life. <laughs> There were, I think I might have eaten like 30 strawberries. It was so good. I don't feel like anything could make me upset today. It's like not possible. I'm in the best freaking mood. Those pillows were amazing last night. It's so cold in here. I had a fuss with the air conditioning unit a few times because it's actually that cold. I refuse to complain about air conditioning. When the plane was landing and the pilot said, we're almost in Arizona. I think it like hit me a little bit. Like I have this big old, thing in my chest it made me feel like I was gonna cry it just I don't know the whole year it just kind of like not to be dramatic but it kind of like flashes in front of you it's emotional I'm really looking forward to seeing my family and my friends. my parents are picking us up in just a couple hours we're not staying at the hotel again although this night was freaking epic I just don't want to get out of this bed I'm working currently in the bed it's amazing I'm gonna get a couple things done. They're gonna come see us. They can't wait. I haven't seen my parents in uh, over a year. We haven't seen them, seen them since my dad's 70th birthday last year. We're reuniting with them. They couldn't be happier. We're gonna stay at their apartment. This is where I grew up, so I'm really excited. And it's where I met the love of my life, my captain. One thing about me is I love hotel lotions, the minis. I never leave without them. They always come home with me. Guys, this is my mother in a nutshell. She sets up what is basically a breakfast station <laughs> with a smoothie bar. It's, can't make this up. So she watched our video where I said I needed sourdough bread. I was craving it. <laughs> She's got all the health stuff that I like out. Mushroom immunity, matcha. She knows I wanted blueberries and pineapple and yogurt. She's checking all the boxes, this woman. And I'm gonna have a soft boiled egg. A whole pineapple? Oops. Not the whole thing. You don't, you don't mind me. <laughs> Not the whole thing. And um, the skin's on it. I figured you'd just bite into it. So everybody, listen, go to Ocean Bandits, subscribe and like, it doesn't cost you anything, and you'll be doing a favor for my daughter and my son-in-law, and I'll look favorably upon you for that. Now it was time for Tanner and I to take a much needed break, some time away to decompress, you could say. Good afternoon from this gorgeous resort here in Arizona, the resort that Tanner and I met at 10 years ago. I was a pool bartender right there and Tanner was a chef when we met and now we are staying here tonight for free 
because we have credit card points that we haven't used uh, all year since we are traveling the Caribbean. And check out our old stomping grounds in this gorgeous state. You always forget how pretty places are. I think when you live there, you just take them for granted. So I'm not gonna be doing any of that taking things for granted today. Where you met me, babe. We were so happy to catch up with old friends in a little desert oasis, not an ocean in sight. How's it feel to be at your old job? Great. Feels fancy being at a resort. <laughs> Doesn't it? Yeah. This is not salt water. We're going in. You have a cocktail. A little bit. Yeah, this is pretty neat. A little bit of something. Do you remember the day that you met me? I do. Really? Do you remember? I do. I was looking for all the fine women that worked here. Oh my God. Couldn't find any. Tell us how you really feel. And then I found one. Yeah. And I married. And you married me. Oh, I like being here with you, it's nice. I love you. Love you. Good morning, Mr. Johnson. Good morning. It's never too early for a beer. Vacation. <laughs> On vacation. Actually, it isn't morning. It's about 2 p.m., so to be fair. Spent all morning working my ass off. You did. So it's break time. Oh, we got off on the elevator too early. We are just apparently not very good at being civilized anymore. Checking out today. My mom's picking us up. So we're going to walk around our old stomping grounds here. It's just, it's even prettier than we remembered it. It's just so beautiful here. The property is on a Native American reservation and it's very like adobe style southwestern it's so peaceful and like the whole resort smells nice like a spa and they have the soothing music on in the background i don't know if you can hear it but yes it's lovely they've painted the building a bit darker from last time when we were here last time we were here when we worked here and you know things get remodeled every couple years obviously so it looks great yeah. what kind of adventure are we going on just walking Let's walk to the spa. Exploring. How do you like that idea? Yeah. Will you buy me a massage? I don't know if that's in the budget. <laughs> Like 110 degrees out, but it doesn't feel that hot. I think we're so used to being humid in a humid climate. Yeah, it's way hotter in Grenade. Well, maybe not actually hotter, but the humidity makes it 10 times hotter. Mm -hmm. I'd be sweating bullets right now. Yeah. That didn't last long. We got kicked out of the spot. <laughs> no, they were so... They were very, very nice ladies, but we don't have a treatment booked, so it's uh. We don't get access as resort guests. Nice. Aji spa guests, because it's so bougie. It is so nice in there. And I don't know if you guys do this, but you kind of act like you're gonna like get a service, even though you know that you're not. Just kind of pretend like you're gonna be a potential guest. So we're allowed to go in the fitness room. Clearly we're not dressed for fitness. Oh. Technically <laughs> checked out. Oh, we tried. I'm starting to feel like a degenerate at this point. I feel like, are you going to get off the property now? You're done. Like your day's done. <laughs> we were technically supposed to check out three hours ago, but they gave us a late checkout till four. So we're here till four. It's so 
rare to see you without sweat on the back of your shirt. Yeah. This is new for me. He was sweating from head to toe. <laughs> What's it like not talking to only cruisers every day of your life for a year? Interesting. I don't really know what to talk about because I don't really watch sports anymore. My life is a boat, so conversations are just pretty much about boats. People have a lot of questions, which is good, but it's uh, interesting trying to acclimate to normal society. But I'm not a normal person, so it is what it is. That's why I love you. Normal is boring. It's fun to talk about your boat and their boats and... How would that even, I don't know, I just, I like boats. Mm -hmm. It's also really nice to not have to have any responsibilities of captaining, worried about where the boat is, if it's dragging, what it's doing, the wind, the waves, storms. Tanner's responsibilities are a lot more than mine. He's the captain and you're just better at all that than I am, so you kind of take on a lot of that weight. <laughs> We were arguing two seconds before this. If you didn't already know this, Tanner is an avid chess player. We didn't even set this up properly. How dare they? <laughs> this wasn't here when, when we worked here. This. What do we have for now? What you doing there? Set this up for fun. Leave it like this. Let's see who can figure out what opening this is. Oh, okay. This is a certain opening. Yeah. Let me know in the comments. Okay. <laughs> Let's get a pan of it. Well, the key doesn't work for the pool. <laughs> Kicked out of the pool. <laughs> so we're going to reach out to a friend and see if they can let us in. an umbrella. There's stuff in the pool. <sighs> Ooh. Back up to our room, pack up, and my mom is on her way. I know it's daytime, but the power went out. So I have to pack up our bathroom in the dark, and it's like all of our <laughs> toiletries and everything. I swear this stuff, you can't make it up. The way that we just brought a squall with us. We just watched my mom a slow creep. The slowest car. Look at this. She's barely getting here. You can do it, here. Tina. Come on. It. Thank you. Sit with them. Sit with them. Okay. Okay. Just put her in. Oh, hello. Just put something that I can put out on the table there. And you can either make a sandwich or put it on your dish. Plate. It's perfect. And she said how your brother missed my chicken parmesan that he loved when I made that wow. chicken parmesan one. Parm, I'm not frying it. It's going in the oven. It's all, all ready right. to go in the oven. Something we are not used to at all anymore is traffic. My goodness. We just sent my mom into the grocery store to grab a bag of ice. 20 bucks, she comes out with more than ice. She's got a bag of something. She's looking for us. <laughs> what else did she get besides ice? Just wanted to get some bread. I did plan on just getting ice, but <laughs> I remembered I needed fresh mozzarella and I got a little crusty bread to go with our meal. <laughs> So this little angel is 12 and she, I'm her oh, you think you're her favorite? I'm um, debatable. I don't know who she curled up next to. She does run to you, but she's had a really hard year. So I don't know if any of you have heard of Valley Fever, but she had Valley Fever, still has it. And we almost lost her and she's made a pretty good comeback. Huh, baby?